and oh that's a nice looking one jordan lead them in oh <laughs> yes if you want the gills we got the skills right here at 302 fishing good morning guys welcome back to the channel here if you're brand new you're still hanging around and you haven't already done so smash that subscribe button click that notification bell give us that big fat thumbs up if you like this episode help us out in the suggested videos and of course drop a comment below if you got something to say let's get into this today this episode is not about me i had two young anglers reach out to me here locally and he said hey can we come out and fish on your channel i said absolutely let's do this so after a couple minutes of conversation i asked them hey what's the one fish you haven't caught before and they came out and they said they've never caught carp so we're going to come out here on a pond you've seen us here multiple times last right here, last year i'm sorry and uh, we're going to throw some whole kernel corn out here and we're going to try to get these boys hooked up on some uh some big old uh golden bullets man because uh, they don't know yet guys but once they get on here man i'm gonna be happy seeing their faces when that fish takes off and takes that line out right with it but uh the two gentlemen that reached out to me we've got jordan right here and we've got griffin right here uh these guys are going to go ahead and uh, use my rods i'm going to trust them not to break it <laughs> and i'm going to trust that they have a little bit of knowledge that they're going to be able to go ahead and get these fish on the end of the line i gave them a couple tips here and uh, i'm just going to stand by the wayside and uh, see what happens right here so give me a couple moments we're going to throw some niblets on the end of the line guys and hopefully if we get lucky the boys and i came up with this name we're going to go ahead and catch some big old dirt guppies today <laughs> so let's make this happen guys so as I mentioned right here, these boys are out here for the first time trying to catch carp and I'm going to let them do pretty much everything themselves. If I have to get hands on, I'll do that, but I want them to get it embedded in their heads and figure out how to do it themselves so they know what kind of activities they need to do to put fish on the end of the line. So right off the bat, I don't know Jordan from Adam really, uh, but I wanted to pop him right in his head because this is the problem with youth right now. They don't know how to use basic utensils right here. Don't be turning your head in shame, bro. Get down there and uh, get that uh, can. It took him literally 10 minutes to figure out which way this part goes to open up the can. He had it upside down, he had it sideways. But uh, we're gonna try to sit here and uh, get a little laugh right here and try to see if we can try to figure it out. And then uh, if uh, he needs help, I'll intercede. But uh, he's, he's clearly struggling right here, guys. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, you're gonna have to put this here and you're gonna turn it sideways so it's up and down, just like that. Grip hard grip hard and then twist oh my goodness gracious all right guys we're already going to get hands on right off the bat <laughs> so jordan this is how you do it there's the can right there uh -huh. there's the can opener right and there's the blade right here mm -hmm. see the lip yeah okay you're gonna put it here mm -hmm. grip it till it pierces did you see it pierce yes okay now you can turn it see how easy that is buddy wow that's how you use it wow his mom is going to be proud if he can figure it out <laughs> so she, she might throw a part. It might. Hold the bottom of the can because you already cut that part there. Let me get back on there. All right, so here we go. How many people does it take to open up a can of corn? But he's already got the can kind of messed up already. That's the only reason I'm having him hold it right now. Whatever you do, guys, if you're coming out here, like I said, if it's your first time, all the way up to if you've done it a million times, please be careful of the lids. They're very, very sharp. Uh, I don't put my fingers in there in any way, shape, or form. That's why you always carry a knife with you. And whatever I did with my knife, it's somewhere. Give me a moment. Here it is in the bottom of my pocket, guys. And I just take the, the knife right here and just come into the, uh, the groove right here and just pop the lid out. And then I could start grabbing it up right here. And then we got our fresh whole kernel corn. How about that, buddy? That's a pretty good magic trick, right? Yeah. All right, so the boys are going to come through the clearing right here. Uh, we got Jordan coming to the edge, and then Griffin's going to come here. And all they're going to do is just get a small little palm full. You can pour it right into your hands, guys. A little bit more than that, Jordan. There you go. It's good. And then what I want one person to do is you're going to throw one close in this area right here. And then Griffin, I want you to toss way out there. So go ahead and toss the, the corn out there, guys. You got to get a little further out there, Jordan. Go ahead and grab another handful. And just underhand it right out like that, guys. There you go. And then Griffin, another big toss out in the middle there. That's good enough. And there we go. So we've got our attractant out here. 
We, like I said, we've seen carp breaching out here. We're seeing bubbles coming up out of here. So these guys are going to take no time of coming over here and trying to find these free pieces of uh, food out here. And then we're going to go ahead and get our niblets on the end of the hook and toss it out here. So like I said, it's going to take a couple minutes to do that. And then by the time they get the rods over here, those fish should be already in the general area. The boys got the can of corn here and uh, they're going to go ahead and pull uh, a few niblets out of the can. They're going to put it on the hook. They're gonna hook about five or six pieces through the side of the niblet, and then on the last one, they're gonna hook through the bottom of the niblet, and that covers up the barb of the hook. That way they don't pick up algae and all kinds of craziness on the bottom of the pond right here. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the can here for you guys, and just grab a niblet, and you're gonna put it on the side of the corn. Let me see if you're doing it right there. No, 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 through the side, the wide side. Right yep, through the wide side. Here. Through the wide side, right here. Right. There you go. And you're gonna bring it all the way up to the uh, the eyelet. Good deal. So five to six pieces, right? Yeah, just enough to cover the hook there. We are high class today. I mean, we're part of the bougie crowd here. We got Del Monte today. We don't have the uh, the ghetto version. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we will get those sophisticated carp on the end of the line today. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, so the boys are almost done. We got Griffin. He's almost got everything all hooked up. So now you're going to take one niblet, and you're going to go through the bottom of the co uh, corn kernel and just push it almost to, to where you feel the tip touching your finger at the top of the kernel. There you go, just like that. Just like that. Just That's exposed. perfect. Yep, just just like that. So guys, here's what it's supposed to look like right there. So you got your kernels there, and then you got that one cover in the tip just like that. You don't want to give that carp any reason to see that hook or feel that hook. That's the right reason why you're doing that, because they can feel metal and they'll they'll dart off in an instant. All right, let's go, Jordan. And it's going to come over here all the way up to the edge of the water right here. And then you're going to side arm the cast. So open your bail up. Make sure your finger's on the line. Perfect. There you go. And then all you got to do is just put it out there, just right there. That's far enough. Keep your bail open and just put it right on the ground. And then you're just gonna watch the line move. So see how it's loose right there, Jordan? See how the line's like that? That's the way you wanna keep the line because you wanna see it moving. All right, Griffin's getting ready to put his cast out there. And just watch the trees that are around there and just flip it out as, as far as you can possibly go. Just don't go too crazy. There you go, that's good right there. And then now uh, leave the bale open and just drop it right on the ground and then watch your line. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the net, make sure it's on the ready. So what I did for the boys, I forgot my net at home, but I went to the Walmart, it's literally across the street from us, and I bought a fairly uh, inexpensive net right here, and I've already gifted this net to the boys right here. So they've got something to go ahead and catch their bass with, and their carp and everything else like that. But if you're fresh and you're new, and you're out here carp fishing or any kind of fishing, always make sure that net is right beside you. Make sure it's always open. Make sure the handle's always telescoped out. I always keep the net face towards the water and the pole right beside me so I can just grip it up, scoop the fish up, and you're good to go. We saw it pull out once right now, and Jordan might have uh, something on. Let me see if it pulls again. If it does, we're gonna have him pick up the rod slowly. But I try to tell him, just when you see that first hit on the line, don't jump on the rod right off the bat. You gotta give that fish a time to feel that bait out, because again, they are very finicky. They will feel that metal, and if they feel that, they're gonna just dart off and then just drop the line. You'll see it literally drop. So it picked the line up once and the line has not moved since. So that's why uh, I had him keep the rod where it was at. So hopefully Jordan will be uh, excited if we can get this one on here. But uh, yeah. I think we have a great chance of catching some fish out of here today. Let me know if you see that line move. I'm gonna make sure I take care of uh, Griffin since he's got no bite going on right now. Go ahead and give me a rod right now, buddy. Always make sure your drag's prepared before you start fishing, guys. Yeah, so the drag was uh, not on there. All right, your drag's good. Go ahead and lay that back down. Just keep it on the line for me, okay? And let me check the drag on this real quick. All right, Jordan's right. drag is good there, so he's ready to rock when something hits. Uh, we got a breach out here right where Griffin's line is approximately, so he may have a bite coming up soon. What these carp generally do is they actually kind of go in a circle because when you see them breaching, they'll literally come right, look, see that? 
there you go. You missed it all for camera, guys, but we had one just jump right out of the water here. It's about like that big. But they kind of go circling around the pond here. But they primarily sit right in this spot, so we're not going to move from this spot at all. So we threw all the bait in this section where Jordan's sitting at right now. Uh, Griffin had to be over here because there's not enough room for him to have the rod in uh, next to him. So we're going to have him throw some chum out here as far as to where he just uh, cast his line out there to bring some fish over into his general area. But like I said, we did have a carp breach out there, toss it out as far where your line is at. And he's just going to toss those niblets out there. There you go. That's good enough right there. Every once in a while, what you're going to do is if your bait's been sitting out there for a while, nothing's really been touching it, you're going to pick up your rod. Go ahead and Jordan, pick it up. You're going to reel slowly until the line is straight on your rod into the water. So go ahead and reel slowly. Slow, slow, slow. Keep going, keep going. And you'll see how the line is when I tell you to lift up. So the line's in an angle right here. Stop. He's going to slowly just pick his rod tip up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And all that's doing right here, you can bring it back down, Jordan. And all that's doing is bringing the hook and as well the sinker out of the sediment so the fish can see the actual bait. Because sometimes when you catch for the first time, it drops and buries itself. Okay, looks like we definitely might have a fish on here. So you're just gonna watch the line come off the reel first, Jordan. You can pick the rod up if you want. Just be gentle with it and just, as you're picking it up, look, you're gonna bring the rod forward a little bit to keep that line loose. So pick it up and now stand up. That way they don't feel that pressure on the line. Right there, stay right there, stay right there. Let it go, let it go, let it go. There is a fish on there, bud. Now keep the line hooked. Get ready, get ready. Let them, let them, let them play with it. Let me know if it's moving, okay? We're gonna go over to Griffin, he thinks he has one. All right, looks like the fish are starting to figure out that there's uh, little tidbits of uh, corn out here. All right, close your bail. Lift your rod tip up. Crank, 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 hard. Up, tip up, tip up. He's on her, keep cranking, bud. Keep cranking, keep cranking. He's on, guys, he's on. You got a catfish? Yeah, you got a carp, though. You got to keep that line on, you got to keep cranking hard, bud. Put your fingers right here. Where? Put your fingers where I told you to be. He's still on her, he's not going on anywhere. There you go, he's pulling on you. But keep your tip up, man. All right, man, Griffin's on. I think he's got a carp on. Jordan's trying to deal with the catfish over there. He's cranking. Let me go grab the net. Jordan, here you go, bud. He's got a carp on. There you go. Dirt guppy. <laughs> All right, Griffin's the first one on. Lead him in, lead him in, lead him in, lead him in. Oh! Keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Crank, 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 and bring him towards you. Lead, me, lead him into me. Lead him into me. Let him take line if he has to. There you go, we gotta fix the drag. There we go. Where is he? He's right in front of you. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, Griffin. There we go. Hey. Griffin got his first carp on. <laughs> How about that, Griffin? Uh, <laughs> good job, buddy. Thank you. All right, man. He might be uh, close to 10 pounds. And I'll let the bail out so we can get the slack out. But really, really nice looking carp here. There are ones way bigger than that inside of this pond right here. That's what we're trying to get these boys on right now. All right, I had to do double duty. I had to get a small little catfish off of the line for uh, Jordan Air. But we're going to go ahead and take care of this uh, carp right here. But we're all zeroed out right here. And we're going to try to quickly get this uh, carp back into the water again. I keep telling you, each and every time, they're all uh, sensitive uh, to the way you handle them. So put the rod, like a, like a, like a. Just make sure the uh, net is off of the ground. And uh, we got our pretty little carp right here. And the weight is, we're gonna give him seven pounds. It's uh, eight pounds on the scale, obviously subtracting the uh, pound from the, uh, the net itself. But uh, nice one to start the day off with. We want a double digit though. So are we gonna make that happen, gentlemen? We'll do. All right, let's go ahead and do it. And just uh, get him all the way down onto the ground. He'll feel it. And just try to put the net in front of his head so he comes out there gently. He'll figure it out. 
flip, you can flip it over if you want. Flip the net over. Flip the net over. There you go. Another breach over there. Yep, we're hearing breaches, big breaches. And our carp is gone. There was a huge, huge breach over there. I'll tell you one thing, it ain't easy trying to teach two novice fishermen who catch fish simultaneously at the same time. I'm running around like a chicken with his head cut off here trying to get everybody's fish taken care of. But already, uh, what's that, baby 20 minutes? We got two fish on, we got a catfish with Jordan, boom. And we got a nice looking carp right here, almost a 10 pounder. So we're gonna try to catch a double digit today. It's gonna happen today, fellas. So let's nibble it up. All right, I'm super excited that the boys got hooked up, man. That's a, that's a good sign right now. Like I said, we got a absolute beautiful overcast day right here. So again, there should be no reason we shouldn't get any more fish here. All right, let's go, Jordan, man. You gotta get your carp on, man. You're behind the eight ball there, bro. All right, looks like Griffin might have another bite. Let's walk over here and see what's up. There you go, crank, 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 crank. Let him pull it, let him pull it. Lift your tip up, oh lift your tip up, God. lift your tip up. Wow, that thing jumped right out of the water. Keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking. Get the advantage on him. Crank, 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 crank. He's going for the trees. Keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking. Todd's all you to stop. Keep cranking. There you go. Boy, he's got a big one on, guys. Keep cranking, keep cranking. Oh my goodness gracious, this one might be bigger than the other one, guys. Keep cranking, man. Let him go. Let him go. Let him pull. Nice one, nice one, Griffin. Let him, let him fight. Let him fight. <laughs> All right, try to lead him in. Try to lead him in. There you go. Perfect. Wow. Nice job, Griffin. Holy crap. That might be a 10-pounder right there. That one's a little bit bigger than the other one. All right, we'll have to get Jordan into the action over here. <laughs> Another nice one. Woo, he's feisty. Yee! Look at those dorsals flare up on that fish, man. That fish is angry. All right, we got the scale hooked up. We just got to zero out. <laughs> Good job, Griffin. Thank you. All right, let's weigh this bugger up and see what he weighs right here. Uh, okay, there we go. No, nope, not a double digit, but fairly close. So on a high scale, it was nine pounds. So that's an eight pound carp. He increased by one pound. Excellent, excellent job, Griffin. Let's go ahead and uh, get that uh, carp back into the water. They're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Flip it upside down, bud. There you go, perfect. And there, you go. there, there she you goes. Go. Great job, Griffin. Pound, boom. So Griffin's got two fish on, so we're gonna have uh, Jordan, he's gonna play with his line a little bit over here for a second, but we're gonna have him come over here and get in this section since that's where the bites are coming at, right here in this general area. That's where they've been breaching at as well. So we're wondering why Jordan wasn't getting anything. He has nothing on the end of the line right here, guys. He's got a, a bear, bear hook here. <laughs> Jordan's all baited back up again here. He's gonna go ahead and cast out uh, right on, around the same area as I said uh, Griffin was catching his fish at. Perfect, right there. Just let it sit there. Keep your bail open and just let it uh, sit there and watch for that line. Sit up on uh, the tuft of that uh, plant right there. So it's sitting up with the tip up a little bit. There you go. That way you can see the line. All right, Jordan, man. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw the uh, fishing vibes on to you, bro. Positivity up the rod, through the line, onto that hook, and on that bait into that fish's mouth. Make it happen, Jordan. Let's do it. Jordan's on, guys. Jordan's on. Keep that tip up. Crank, 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 crank. Get your line in, bud. All right, good, we're in. That fish is way out there already, guys. He had that line halfway towards the shoreline here, but that fish is going. Keep that tip up, bud. Grab the neck, Griffin, there you go. Just get to his side and just follow his lead where he's bringing the fish. Yep. Keep that tip up. Let me uh, tighten up your, uh, let me tighten up your drag a little bit. You can let him go, let him go. He's, he's coming. He's right here, bud. Keep cranking, bud. You got to lead him away from the edge. Oh, oh, Did he? The handle came off. Oh, snap. We got a carp on with a broken handle, guys. Uh, I think the rod's broken, guys. All right, we're going to have to try to finagle this in here, guys. Here, give me that. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're literally giving this thing a twist with the hand here because uh, <laughs> the crank broke. All right. Uh, I know it wasn't uh, gonna be hands-on here, guys, but we gotta help these gentlemen out. Jordan here, here you go, lead him in. Just keep uh, turning with your hand this way. 
Keep turning, keep turning, and keep that tip up, and just guide him into the net. Put the net into the water, all the way into the water, until it's touching the bottom, and then he's gonna lead it right into the net. There you go. That's a nice looking one, Jordan. Get him. There you go, Jordan. <laughs> all right, Jordan's got his very first carp on too as well, man. Great job, gentlemen. What do you think, Jordan? How did that feel? <laughs> he's totally surprised, man, at how hard these fish are fight. Jordan, man. <laughs> 8.34 pounds so jordan has taken the lead after griffin caught two but very very nice looking carp there jordan excellent we're gonna go ahead and uh again gingerly put him back into the water and look at our uh damage here on the rod <laughs> but uh he's gonna put him down put the net all the way down to the bottom of the ground and just let him get out of their zone put it up underneath his tail put it up underneath his tail and then drag there you go all right we got our little uh, golden beauty Low, rolling out of there. Jordan, excellent job. Thank you. Let's get going, man. We need that double digit. All right, so we're down to one rod. We're not going to really use the rods right here because I don't want their stuff being messed up with uh, carp slime and everything else like that. So uh, since Jordan just caught one right now, we're going to wait for a griffin to catch another one and just go back and forth. Griffin's line got hammered. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness gracious, man. Keep cranking. Keep cranking. And fix this drag a little bit. Keep cranking, keep cranking. There you go. Keep cranking, man. Ah, oh, he came off. Looks like he flew, threw it off, guys. He had a decent one on there, man. That thing slammed the bait. Oh, he's still on her. Keep cranking. Hard, 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 hard. Hard, hard, hard. Keep your rod tip over this way. Keep cranking. Jordan, get over here and be ready with the net, buddy. To the right. Right here, right here. It's getting out of gap right there. Wow, that fish is running, man. He's running. Come on, boys, get that thing in here. All right, he's screaming drag, guys, he's screaming drag. Let him pull, let him pull. He's gonna race across. As soon as he starts pulling away from you, let him pull it. Oh, man, that looks like a fatty man from what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> don't don't pull up, just, let, just reel it, that's it. That's a good way to break the line. There you go, that's a nice one right here. Jordan's gonna go ahead and scoop her up. We'll try to lead the fish to him. Great job, Griffin. Great job, man. You guys are doing awesome today for the first time. Just lead him in. Just lead him in. Just lead him in. Jordan, put that net all the way in there and I'll touch the bottom. And just try to uh, move it to where his head's at. There you go. Oh, he ran away. Turn that the other way. There you go. Lead him, lead him, lead him. All right, great job, Griffin. Great job. Lead him head in. Got to put that net down, Jordan. Put the net all the way down on the bottom of the water. You got to put it all the way down on the bottom of the pond. That way it can lead right into there. Wait, lift, lift. There you go. Great job, man. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job, man. Griffin is tearing his carp up today. Three already. That one weighs. That's 7.91, so that is a 6.91 pound carp. Boom, great job, Griffin, man. He's trying to get his Instagram story going on. Jordan, nice net job there. All the way down to the bottom, and just try to get him out of there. Yep. And bring it right behind his tail. Get him out there so you can see him, and then bring the net right underneath his tail. Underneath his tail. Yeah, there you go. And then just lead it away. My feet are getting wet. You gotta flip it over the other way, bud. Turn him around. Come on, buddy. Work with me. There you go. <laughs> off. We got him out. Another dirt guppy in the book. All right, Jordan, bait up, man. Let's go. All right. Griffin, get out there and chum out, bud. He's the chum king. Yep. There you go. That was a great throw there. Did you see that, guys, man? Max distance. <laughs> He's going to grab a palm full and get it out there a little further. All right, there you go. Jordan's got a huge tug. Huge tug. Let it go. Let him drag. Let him drag. I think that's a turtle, bud. Tip up. Keep cranking. Keep cranking. Keep cranking. Wow. Woo, that thing is ripping. <laughs> He's going all the way to the other side of the pond, guys. That thing is pulling hard. Let me tighten your drag up a little bit, bud. All right, go ahead, go, go. Keep cranking. Get the uh, net on the ready, Griffin. 
My man stole Instagram right over here. Come on. Wow, Jordan, I think he's got a big one, guys. This might be the biggest one today because that thing just absolutely savaged that rod. Keep cranking, bud. Keep cranking. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Keep, keep cranking. I think he might have a big turtle on, bud, possibly. Wow, Jordan. <laughs> wow. He has got a monster on here. Don't overpower it, guys. Don't overpower it. That thing has not come up to the top yet. Like I said, I think it might be a turtle, Jordan, so just bear with us. Guys, let's see what we got going on. Because he's not moving like a carp. Could be a big catfish, too. Oh, that's true, yeah. Keep reeling. Don't overpower him. Don't overpower him. It's been about five minutes, guys. He's still got that fish out there. Get that in the water right there. Be prepared for him. Wow, he's breaching almost ready, guys. Get it all the way into the water and be ready for it. Yep, yep. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh, snap. Be ready. Keep that down in the water. Be ready, Griffin. Don't keep it out of the water, okay? Because we're going to get that fish the uh, first opportunity we can get it. Wow, Jordan. That's the biggest hit I've ever seen in here so far, man, if that's a carp. Guys, we still haven't really seen how big this thing is yet. Oh. <laughs> Lead him in. Lead him in. Lead him in. Oh, that's a nice looking one, Jordan. Lead him in. Oh, <laughs> yes. Lead him in, Jordan. Lead him in. Lead him in. Use your rod tip to lead him in. No, keep just stay right here. Don't overstretch. Put that down in there. Lead him in, Jordan. Use your tip to lead him in. Don't overstretch. Keep cranking. Keep cranking and lead. Crank and lead. Don't overpower him. Don't overpower him. Wow, guys. Keep cranking. Keep cranking. Pull his head towards. Get underneath. Hold on. That's why you got to keep it on the bottom. That fish is going to go on you. Hold on. He's going to go on you. Get up on her. Scoop, 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 scoop. Boom. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at this monster fish guy. Holy crap. Definitely over 10 pounds, Jordan. Holy crap, Griffin. <laughs> Put him down, man. There you go. <laughs> wow. Look how fat, that's a female, guys. Look how fat that female is, guys. I mean, I that, I'm just gonna be over-exaggerating. That might be a 15-pound carp right there, guys. Wow. <laughs> Your mom's gonna poop her pants when she sees this one. <laughs> Outstanding, Jordan. Boom. All right, we're gonna have Jordan stand off to the side here. He's not gonna see the scale, and he's gonna come off with a guess as to how big this fish is. So we're gonna lift it up. And uh, you guys can see on the screen for yourself how much that thing weighs. What do you think, Griffin? <laughs> All right, take your guess, bud. 12. We're going to wait for it to settle down. Hold on. So the heaviest we saw was 13.22 pounds. Jordan, uh, he's worn out, guys. He's like breathing heavily after he caught this thing. But he's going to go ahead and gingerly pick the fish up. And he's going to get it back into the water again. But uh, wow, I knew there was big ones in here, man. I'm so glad that I'm able to bring out the subscribers and they were able to enjoy that experience. You're going to revive them. You're going to let them move them back and forth so they get the uh, water across his gills. He'll let you know if he's ready or not. All right, swing around. Go ahead and scoop him up again. And then bring the net in front of his face. In front of his face, not his tail. There you go. Looks like he came out right there. The fish is okay. He's spinning around, getting his bearings. It's right here, man. <laughs> Look at that giant, guys. Monster. Look at that giant. Wow. You go back into the abyss, young lady. <laughs> that looked like definitely a female that he caught right there, but absolute great job slaying that fish. Took him again about 10 minutes to get that fish in. Yep, yep. Boom. So we set our goal out to come out and get a double digit fish and uh, boy, did we do it in grand style right here. Uh, it took a while for the boys to kind of get the uh, Get themselves acclimated, man, and uh, try to get into the fishing mode. And because again, they've never caught this fish before. But once they got to handle that first one, uh, they kind of knew exactly what to do. I mean, you still got a couple things that they're green behind the gills on uh, that they need to hone up on and be a little bit more wary about. Because again, these are sensitive fish, and you have to be careful with them. So, Griffin, great job, buddy, great man. Fish. He caught uh, three great-looking carp, but the hero of the day, boom, Jordan. Oh my God, man. 
absolute slaunch donkey gigantic dirt guppy on the end of the line <laughs> guys man 13 and a half pounds almost that he caught right there that is the fattest carp by far that i've ever seen caught out of this pond right here man right by your local walmart man they're giants lurking around sometimes and uh these gentlemen proved man that they're there all you got to do is uh put the effort out put the right bait out and uh hopefully you get lucky and bring something of uh grand value to these guys in their memory banks because they're going to remember that for the longest time i'm so happy that i was able to come out here and let these boys do their thing rather than being me because i want to encourage young fishermen to come out here because these are life lessons they're going to learn right here and then when they have children they can pass that experience on to them which is what i'm trying to do with these guys because i mean i'm almost taking a dirt nap soon guys but i'm glad i'm able to pass that along to you guys it was a pleasure coming out and fishing with you guys and i was so glad you guys caught yeah. a whole bunch of carpet in that yeah. giant man good lord almighty guys if you like this episode guys obviously give us a big fat thumbs up man drop down right below click that button as many times as you can give these guys your love and support subscribe push that notification bell share this video out guys i'm hoping you're catching your gigantic dirt guppies hopefully you're having a great weekend guys and as always fish on <laughs> <laughs>